My name's Matt. I'm what they call a lead pastor here at South Point Church. We're so excited that you are going to join us on this journey. Hey, as I start out, I want to say it is rare, but sometimes you get to be a part of a once in a lifetime opportunity that either you don't deserve or you didn't see coming. For me, it's being a part of South Point. South Point started in a living room with about 10 people that dreamed of launching a church. Not just any kind of church, but a different kind of church. A church that would reach those who had given up on church. A church where those who had never been to church would love to attend. A church that welcomed and loved skeptics and outsiders and the marginalized. The kind of church where God's love for people was so compelling that followers of Jesus would put aside their comfort and their preferences to be a part of a legacy that God is creating. Out of that, South Point was launched. And from the beginning, it was obvious that God was leading the way as the results have been far above anything that we could do ourselves. I mean, our very first Sunday, it snowed here in Southern Maryland, and still over 200 people showed up on our first service. And in less than two years, we were at three services with over 500 people. Then we moved to Leonardtown High School, and then we purchased almost 50 acres of land for a million dollars less than our original offer. And we've taken risks like the Christmas Village or the Easter egg drop. We've launched a campus in Lusby. We engaged Colony Square in a partnership, and we bought a townhouse to create a future after-school program. And lives have been impacted. Do you realize that over 12,500 first-time visitors have walked through the doors of South Point Church, hearing that there's a God who made them and loved them and wants to be their friend? That's almost 10% of our community's population. Back in our kids' areas, between our two campuses, it's over 220 kids, which is larger than the average church in America on Sunday. Our average attendance puts us in the top 10% of churches here in America. And what's stunning is in churches all across America, half of them don't lead a single person to Jesus. At South Point, we've had over 900 first-time decisions for Jesus. And we've baptized over 1,007 people into the family of God. For me, South Point gave me the courage I needed to give up control to Jesus and to join a small group. Stephen Ministry at South Point loved and cared for me when my mom passed away. Through South Point, I discovered who God made me to be. May God use South Point to provide me with a community of family that I left behind. To be a part of an impact like that is truly a once in a lifetime opportunity. And God has been faithful to show up and bless the service and sacrifice of our dream filled efforts. Now listen, as great as our past is, we are unwilling to settle for having our best days behind us. We know our legacy is not complete and that God is not done. We think the kind of impact that God wants us to launch in our communities is far from over. Yes, South Point's impact has been undeniably blessed by God, but our journey has been filled with obstacles. And some of these obstacles, they limit our ability to impact people and to touch their lives. Now imagine, if there was something that you and I could do to remove these obstacles that would significantly increase our ability to create life-changing impact on behalf of Jesus. Not attempting to remove these obstacles is basically saying to those people we could reach for Jesus that we'll just close our eyes and ignore them. And we find that totally unacceptable. That's never who South Point will be. So with that in mind, our dream of leaving a legacy of life change beyond ourselves and for generations is leading you and I and us to launch our next steps. We're excited and ask you to join us as we take those next steps. Imagine if our next steps changed our community forever. What if our commitment to loving God and caring deeply about people 
led us to take a bold step that could alter the future generations for decades to come. Think about all the possibilities for impact that South Point could have if we could remove some of the biggest obstacles that we face. That's what launching a legacy is all about. You see, we believe the next step to removing our most challenging obstacles is to build a permanent facility on our property. Now this building will have the potential to be a launch pad of impact, and not just for our generation, but for generations to come. You see, we know that a church home can create the kind of change that forever alters the community around it. There are three specific ways a permanent church home could create a lasting legacy. One is a permanent location provides a stable and a strategic launch pad for God-directed opportunities, maybe like launching another campus. The second way it does it is a secure church home becomes a highly effective platform which allows us to be better and to be more creative in reaching people that matter deeply to God. And thirdly, a church building tells our community that we're committed to creating a legacy for the long term. So you might be asking, why now? What has changed that makes having a church facility a real possibility? The successful launch of our Lusby campus has allowed us to reduce the original footprint of our building by almost 50%. We've also been able to reduce the scope and the scale of this project by almost $10 million to $5.2 million. And our targeted opening date would be Easter of 2020. And by the way, we absolutely intend to keep our Lusby campus open and supported as we passionately love our Calvert community. Let's be clear, launching a legacy initiative isn't about comfort and convenience of a building. It's about creating life change and impact on behalf of Jesus. South Point isn't trying to create a hideaway, but a launch pad. Our next steps are all about launching a legacy that creates impact that changes lives for generations to come. You and I have an opportunity of a lifetime that lies before us. There's a chance for us to be a part of something that forever changes our community and impacts eternity. But what will it take to remove the obstacles so we can create the kind of impact that changes lives for generations? The answer is simple. It will require generosity and sacrifice. Our next steps, a permanent building, is only possible if South Point raises $1.25 million over the next three years in our Launching a Legacy initiative. You know, impacting future generation never comes easily or free. It only happens when passionate people choose to invest in the future. I'm going to ask you personally to do a couple of simple things. First, simply, would you pray and sincerely ask God, what is your role, and allow Him to shape your response? Would you ask and honestly ask yourself and God, where am I on this journey of giving back to God, and where does God want me to be on that journey? And simply, would you say yes and commit to how God is leading you to partner financially with South Point? It's three simple things to pray, ask, and then commit. Lastly. Someday, when you and I are much older, we'll be asked by the next generation, what adventure stole our hearts and got the best of us? They'll be looking to you and I, hoping to find some clue of what's worthy of a lifetime investment. And may you and I answer bringing heaven down to earth, and that we made Jesus so famous that people couldn't help but fall in love with Him and follow Him. You see, we believe that building a launch pad for generational life change is a legacy worthy of our best. As we move forward, may you and I make God smile with how we use our lives.